Good afternoon, I'm Riza Diaz. This is One News Now. Youth groups are gearing up for their sauna day protest tomorrow. These organizations are renewing their calls against anti-terror law. Some of them are also pushing for mass testing amid the pandemic and for the return of media giant ABS-CBN on air. Now, because of the Interior Department's memorandum against mass gatherings, their protests will be held in the UP Diliman campus starting at 10 in the morning. More employees of the Presidential Communications Operations Office, or PCOO, have tested positive for COVID-19. As of 12 noon today, the number of PCOO personnel who tested positive for the new coronavirus stands at 23. 17 of them are considered active cases. Two patients work for the RTVM, which is in charge of the coverage of President Duterte's fifth State of the Nation address tomorrow. Now, as a precautionary measure, the RTVM office has been placed on lockdown. Communication Secretary Martin Andanar earlier said that RTVM will push through with its coverage despite the increasing number of infected workers under his office. Now, here are other stories we're keeping our eyes on. Congressmen, including House Speaker Alan Peter Cayetano, just got tested for COVID-19 in preparation for tomorrow's SONA. Meanwhile, at least eight senators led by Senate President Tito Soto are scheduled to undergo rapid tests tomorrow morning. President Duterte is set to get swabbed ahead of his address. Now, the number of repatriated Filipinos amid the pandemic has breached the 100,000 mark. That's after the Foreign Affairs Department brought home more than 12,000 OFWs over the past week. And the Manila Regional Trial Court has convicted Attorney Lorna Kapunan of unjust vexation and sentenced her to imprisonment of up to 30 days. This is for a statement she made against UST Law Dean Nilo Divina regarding the hazing of Horacio Castillo in 2017. Kapunan is the lawyer of the Castillo family. For more updates, follow News 5, The Philippine Star, and Business World online. Visit our website, onenews.ph, for more in-depth analysis. You can also catch One News on Signal Play app. Register for a free account now at www.signalplay.com and stream One News Live anytime, anywhere. I'm Riza Diaz. We are One News.